We have finished the master books, God's Design for Life, World of Plants, and Human Body. So let's talk about whether we liked it or not. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your time. I'm thankful that you're here. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool. And right now we're doing quite a bit curriculum reviews because we are in the process of finishing up some of our different subjects. Well, today we're going to talk about master books, God's Design for Life. Now, master books, God's Design for Life is separated into three sections. We only did two. So we did the world of plants and we did the human body. We did not do the world of animals. Um, we didn't do this because my daughter had already done quite a bit with animals last year. If you're interested in a little bit more information about why we didn't do the world of animals, I'll link a video here, but today we're not going to talk about the world of animals. These different sections can be done in any order. Now what we did was we did the world of plants first and then we did the human body second. We loved the world of plants. We had so much fun with it. We did experiments. We just really enjoyed it. And so, so I will go ahead and link a video here talking about what we did with the world of plants, how we did experiments, what experiments we did, some other things that we pulled in and just really going into depth about our experience with the world of plants. Today, I wanna to talk more about the human body and then just in general about this curriculum and how we utilized it. This does come with the textbook as well as the teacher's guide. With the teacher's guide, you're going to get a schedule that includes 144 lessons. So each week is really, it has four lessons per week for uh, the four nine weeks. And so it's separated into nine weeks. In the teacher's manual, you will get some of the individual worksheets. And then there's also quizzes and tests. And we did utilize them with a modification, which I'll get into in just a minute. In some of my other videos, I've talked about how I didn't utilize the teacher's guide from master books, like in history and um, one's coming out shortly in geography. I'll kind of say the same thing. I did utilize the teacher's guide for the science. So I did like it. Now we didn't use everything that's involved in the teacher's guide, but it was definitely very beneficial for me to have that teacher's guide with God's design for life. World of Plants is separated into six units. And then you go into the human body and the human body has And the human body has six units again. Each lesson is set up basically the same way. So you're going to have some key words to know, and then those will be bolded as you're reading. And so for this one, you really only have one page of reading, and then you have the find the pairs. So anything in the blue boxes is for grades three through five, and then the green boxes would be more in-depth information, and so that would be for grades six through eight. And then for examples, you'll see here, this one is basically the same setup. So you have one page, and then you have your blue box or your green box. Now, for quite a few times, those blue boxes are what is considered like your activity or your experiment. I did utilize what was included in the blue boxes to an extent. Some of them just did not seem interesting to my daughter. And so a lot of times within the human body, when it was in the blue box, we didn't do it. We found a separate activity that we um, utilized. I'll get into some of the activities in just one minute, but I brought in two books with us. And one was the DK Body Atlas, which just has amazing pictures. And so it really outlined and showed a lot more information with regards to the different parts of the body that we were studying. Even though we didn't truly get into everything that the DK Human Body book entails and provides, it was nice to be able to have just more of a general overview and a little bit more detail so that when she was interested in something, we could dig more into it with that DK book. The second book I brought in, she loved this book, Tall in the Morning but Shorter at Night and other amazing facts about the human body. So this was one of her favorite things. 
It's a very easy spread and she just loved it because she liked all of those interesting little fun facts that she got to um, tell people about. I'll go ahead and include down below the links for any of the pieces that I talk about, but this was, this was a book that she really enjoyed while we were studying the human body. As far as some hands-on manipulatives, this was our favorite, and I've talked about him before, so we named him Bob. He is a squishy, so here he is. He's a squishy human body, and what it has is it has the different parts of him in here so you can talk about uh, you know his lungs his intestines etc and then it shows the muscles on one side the bones on the other so we really got a lot out of dealing with him because because there is a book that comes with him and then also there is a sheet where you get to um, identify the different pieces today we're learning about the digestive system so we have Bob here, which these are all of his insides. Um, we're not talking about any of the muscles or bones. Um, so this is the esophagus. It's about right here, and whenever you swallow, that's what it goes down. So it would go right there. There are two intestines, a large one and a small one. The large one is the one on the outside right here. Why it's large is because it's like wider. Um, it's not as long as the small one though. The small one is 19 feet long. So that would go right there. This is the stomach, which the esophagus goes down into the stomach. So that would go right there. We have a few more manipulatives that we brought together. We put together the foot and this was, this is made very poorly. And so we ended up having to hot glue it together. It did work for my um, purposes of learning about the different bones and just kind of seeing what a foot looked like but I would definitely not recommend it if you wanted to get anything more out of it than just seeing what the bones of the foot looked like. So today we made a foot. <laughs> um, so phalanges. For the heart, I have this squishy and I highly recommend it. It is very interesting because it shows how the, the blood flows through the different parts of the heart and where your left ventricle, right ventricle, etc., is. And so when we did an activity for the blood flow, this was something that definitely helped us out. Today we're learning about blood. This is the heart. And the red m and represent what has oxygen and going to spread it to the rest of the body. The blue rep represent what has carbon dioxide and is going to get oxygen. Yeah, it needs oxygen, yeah. right. So show me on your diagram where if the blood is going to your legs, where is it? If it's going to your legs, where is it? Yeah, so it's red, it's got oxygen, it's yeah. going to your legs. Show me if it's going to the lungs, where is it? To the lungs. Okay, what is it getting in the lungs? It is getting oxygen and it's leaving carbon dioxide. Exactly. And so the blood that is traveling away from the heart, what's it traveling in? If it's going away from the heart, it's traveling in arteries. And if it's going into the heart, what's it traveling in? Veins. Excellent. Good job. And then we also did put together the human head. The brain is split into two hemispheres. Um, this part is called the cerebrum. This little brown thing is called the cerebellum. This white thing is called the brainstem. It connects to your spinal cord. Okay, so if so for the cerebrum, you have the two, what did you say those two parts were called? Hemispheres. And then, so you have a left hemisphere and a right hemisphere. What controls the left part of your body? Your right hemisphere. 
And then what controls the right part of your body? Your left hemisphere. Okay. So she liked this one. Um, so you have the different parts of the brain, and then also you you have the ear, and it just. And so it shows the brain. So this one was also rather interesting. Um, however, if I had it to do over again, I would just buy Bob. I mean, we, ha we have the skeletal system, the muscular system, you have the digestive system. There's quite a few pieces that are included with Bob. And so the, the squishy human body was my favorite thing that we purchased to go along with this unit. Now, two other ideas that we had that worked out really well was one, we did our fingerprints. And so I have this kids um, labs fingerprint kit. And so we had a good time doing this. Also worked on um, identifying our blood types. And so that was a lot of fun as well. Final thing to note with regards to what we did is when we went to the dentist, we had an impromptu field trip because we had, we were actually studying the teeth when it was time for her annual checkup. And so I did ask the dentist if he could help us out and give us a little bit more information. And he was awesome. So that was a lot of fun as well. So much more so than in the world of plants with the human body, I had to pull in more videos, more um, shows and things like that than what I did with the world of plants, I think that Master Books did a great job of describing what was going on, and it was really relatable to my daughter. She, she was able to grasp the information so much better just from the reading than she was with the human body. Some of the things that we pulled in for this was Operation Ouch. It was amazing how they almost said word for word some of the things that we were studying. So that was really interesting. So Operation Ouch, we did the magic school bus. We read Who Was Helen Keller and then watched the Miracle Worker movie. And so that was really a good addition as well. Finally, we were able to go to a science center and they had a huge display for the human body. And so that was so fun. And I was so excited that we were able to do that right at the time when we were doing the human body unit. I highly recommend that if there's any way to do that type of field trip, it was invaluable. I'm so thankful that we were able to go. Now let's get back to the tests and quizzes. As I mentioned in the teacher's guide, there are tests and quizzes. At the end of each unit, there is a quiz and then there is also the final exam when you are finished with that section. I'll show you one of the animal quizzes because we didn't do this one. You just have your general quiz and then on the back, there's always the challenge question. So again, these challenge questions would be for your sixth through eighth grader. And then there is the final exam. For the, the non-challenge questions, because I did not have my daughter do the challenge questions, she is in fourth grade, so she is right in the middle of just what would be considered the general quiz. I had to use this on a case-by-case -case basis because sometimes I thought that the quiz was right on with the materials that they were asking as to what we had learned. And then sometimes I thought it was too easy and sometimes I thought it was too hard. It was very interesting in that sometimes I did end up making my own quizzes for this human body section. Sometimes, but not all the time. It just really depended on quiz was laid out. Again, sometimes I thought it was too easy. Sometimes I thought it was too hard and sometimes I thought it was spot on. So that was very, um, it was just all over the board and I was kind of surprised by that. And secondly, for the final exam for both the world of plants and the human body, I let my daughter take as an open book exam. And I liked, I really liked that because she needs to know how to look up information rather than just m memorize facts and then dump them. I'm glad that we were able to do the open book exam for that. My final thoughts are we really enjoyed God's design for life with the world of plants and the human body. We liked the world of plants better, but you know, that could just be our preference. I've talked to some people who just loved the human body and didn't really like the world of plants, but we liked this 
curriculum. We like the biblical viewpoint that was definitely incorporated throughout the entire study. We did really appreciate some of those experiments that they had available for us to do and some of the ideas that they had for us to really take it to the next level. So that was quite a bit of fun. If I had it to do over again, I would do the same thing. I would do the world of plants. I would do the human body for master books. I really liked it. My daughter learned so much. It was a great general knowledge in these two areas and I'm very thankful for it. I hope this video has been beneficial to you. As I mentioned earlier, we are in the process of finishing up our fourth grade year. And so we are doing these videos of curriculum reviews, curriculum comparison, and curriculum picks. If these are things you're interested in, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification when new videos come out because we are working on all of these videos right now. I know that there are quite a few people who have already picked their curriculum for next year. I'm not one of them, but I'm working on it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment those down below and I will definitely answer them to the best of my ability. I am having such a good time getting to know people through YouTube, other homeschool mamas, and I'm so thankful for it. I hope that you have a great day. Bye.